हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज तितेशा एंड यू आर वाचिंग तितली So how are all you doing? This is summer, and I hope you all are enjoying your sweet summer vacation. Now that summer vacation has started, I hope that you all have picked up some new hobbies because this is the time you can actually explore your creative time. But for me, I am I'm quite old enough to get a summer vacation. I am not in school, neither in college. So I'm an old old person that is sitting inside. a uh, four walled room and only watching tv series yes i have watched like four tv series during this and game of throne has ended okay i will talk about it sometime else now about my video on today i have sent been taking any review copies for so long i don't know why but i actually decided to read my books which are waiting on tbr so after so many days i picked up a book and i loved it so i'm going to talk about this book called the king within by the king within is a historical fiction by nandini sen gupta which is actually based during the gupta dynasty now if you are somebody who has read the indian history quite well you Absolutely know about Samadhu Gupta and the Holy Gupta and Chandra Gupta and everybody. So this book actually focuses on Chandra Gupta too. Okay. Now about this, if you don't know about the Gupta dynasty and the Indian history, I think you better go and take out a little time because this is actually known as the Golden Era. So yeah, you know for a reason it is called. The story takes place during the 373 CE, and we get to know about the four protagonists of our story. That is Darshini, a woman who actually got lost in the forest and was about to be attacked by some savages. When our hero, the main protagonist, the Chandragupta II, or in the book as we read, is Deva, came come to her rescue. Now Deva comes to Darshini's rescue, and after that he was joined by his beloved friend Virsena. Now Virsena is the general of his uh, army and darshini is a dancer and actress of that era who was actually coming from one place to another she was actually going to patliputra for her performance to see this beautiful act by kalidas now kalidas if you have read history and if you have been a little bit aware of the history you absolutely have heard about kalidas he is one of the greatest poet of back time you can actually read his poems you can, there are actually many translations so you can read all his poems the special ones are obviously shakuntala now about this story now i know not all of our actually fan of historical fiction and not even history and now we are tend to be sleeping during the history class in school but they are saying the book won't let you sleep why because author has put each and every character so nicely put together like from beginning how darshini meets this three gentlemen and how she becomes a close bonded friendship with this three and this four group is amazing throughout the story we get to see how they each other pour into each other rescue how they help each other and there we go also get to see a very beautiful romance growing between darshini and deva but one character in particular i really okay, i'm very much sweating right now because i'm filming with my fans off because it would create noise and my window shut you can see back there because because people are talking outside and you can understand it's very hot over here with no fan and something so please like this video subscribe to my channel share this ye to meri khoon pasine ki mehnat hai to thodi help bhi kar do aap sab so jo main bol rahi thi in particular i absolutely loved the character who was the most complex throughout the book that is dhruva swini okay dhruva swini we initially get to see as a love interest of deva who was forcefully married to his elder brother though both of them loved each other because of this political matters and kings and queens and the power everything dhruva swini's father forces her to marry the 
elder brother of Deva who is Ram Gupta and he was such a bad person like he was so jealous of his brother that he would torture the bride in anger that he was so angry that although he managed to take away the bride from her his brother she was still in love with Deva that actually angered him and he would torture her every night and each character yet she was there she would stay there she won't say a thing and get all the tortures and yet be a such a poised queen in front of the people the story actually talks about the political st political dilemma of that period when uh, son is getting favored by his parent just to be the king but then deva comes around he fights off his brother and becomes a king now i'm not to get away everything throughout the story which I'm going to talk about my favorite part of the story. So what did I like about this book? Let's start. First, the writing. The writing, as I'm saying, is beautiful. It is easy. The language is so well that any newcomer, any new reader, I mean, if you are not somebody who has very much good grip on English, you can also read this book because the language is quite simple and it won't actually give you bumps here and there while reading. Second, the characters each of the characters are portrayed so well that it's actually better than reading a history book or just go and read this because in history book you don't really get to see the insights of everything and but this has some juicy political agendas here and there's then some good romantic stories of the protagonist why not third what i like actually the four protagonists kalidas Virsena, Darshini and Deva. F four of their friendship is amazing seeing that four of them are very different from each other when, where one is a great poet, another is a great actress, the other is a great warrior, another is a king's son. Yet four of them are such a great people to, uh, together. They are always into their each other's rescue. They are always helping each other. Fourth, the character complexity and the character core growth from the beginning to the ending we get to see a drastic change among the four characters as well as the side characters we get to see we get to see the next generation that comes into now this book is a trilogy so i am thinking that during the second book we will be talking about the new generation we get to see here just we get a glimpse of them i think their dilemma and their fight and everything will be seen in the second book i'm not sure but it was actually well bridged if I say because we get to see the reputation of Ramagupta and Chandragupta in this book into okay I'm not going to say the name I'm not going to give away any spoiler now fifth the cover I know I this book actually comes in another cover and that one is much better I love this cover no lie but that cover is something much, 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 much better. It's a pretty good. Now, all in all, should I? Now, all in all, will I ever say you to read this? Yes. Heck yes. Go and read this book. This book is something that will take you around this historical tour of India. Now you are Indian, go and read this. Why not? Because this is the golden era of history. The Gupta dynasty, we have read about this on in our history book. We are forced to read, but I'm forcing you to read this because you will not only see about the history, but a great story of four friends. It's amazing. And then coming with now, if you love historical fiction, obviously you will be loving it. And if you are not give it a try man there's like so many genres so many books you don't know which one you're going to like so even if it's a historical fiction even if it talks about the kings and queens and everything go and read it you will like it so that's all for my review i know this is super messy video because i'm sweating i wanted to give this book review because i really like this one so here it is my book reviews out go and like this because i am shooting this video under no fan don't forget to like comment and share till then bye bye i will again come in next life